HDTV is brought to you by Harley-Davidson Financial Services, Northside Harley-Davidson and the Fraser Harley-Davidson Group, and the Bayford Group, celebrating 100 years, along with Harley-Davidson Australia. Gotta get on the road! Last week on HDTV, we popped down to Northside Harley-Davidson for the launch of the model year 2018 range of Harley-Davidson bikes. And being the nice people they are, they've given us a few to test ride. Leading the HDTV charge is Paul Hallam, and today he's starting on a real muscle bike. Here we go, we've got the breakout. Probably, uh, in a lot of people's opinion, number the sexiest looking of the new soft tail range and the sexiest looking of the old soft tail range. They certainly haven't let it down here though. I really like the new wheels with the cross spoke in them. Front and back too, mind you. Looks like a million bucks just in the rims. Great looking motorbike, and this comes out of the rack with 114 cubic inches, which makes it uh, feel like you've been shot out of a cannon. This has got some aftermarket exhausts on it, so it's got a particularly nice note coming out of it, which I guess you're all going to do the day you buy it pretty much anyway. Um, but it get, lets you hear the Milwaukee 8 with the note it can make, and it's really quite fruity. It's got a nice big round bang to each um, fire it lets off. Plenty of mumbo, plenty of talk, but for me the breakout, you can feel the really laid out head angle. Um, I appreciate that this would be a really great bike for uh, for cruising along and the coffee shop stuff. Certainly some mumbo and a good little drag race. But uh, for the corners, unfortunately, it's not for me. Much slower and it's lean. When I say that, slower can be a lot of confidence. So if you're a little bit edgy about riding a bike, you're not going to have much problem with the breakout. But it's actually quite cruisy on its turning. Nothing is going to happen with too much of a shock. But in saying that too, that's only a personal um, preference thing because a, a lot of you people actually don't want a bike probably as aggressive into and out of a corner as I may be looking for one. So this for cruising along, looking good, getting the job done is a real ripper. Um, it's very stable in a straight line, which makes it quite usable for those big long trips and everything. Although it looks like pretty much a city street sweeper, um, you get a bit of interstate stuff done. The new soft tail rear end with the shocker above it um, gives the same feel through all the bikes, which is a lot of confidence in the rough. Like with our Australian roads, which have got a lot of corrugations and a lot of bullshit, um, it can be hard work sometimes. You need a bike that's fairly compliant. And uh, these Harleys are doing a damn nice job. Really pleased to see, because I must say, when I heard that the diner was going, I went, what? But um, this isn't really a letdown on the theme. The diner boys are going to love it, and the soft tail people have finally got something that handles properly. For the girls and the, and the little bit nervous, she's a real comfortable cruiser. Really wants to know about its straight line. Apart from the glorious colour being black, you've got a very nice bit of chrome decoration through it, very tastefully done. I presume all the colours are going to hold a, th a similar theme. Probably go up a little bit in the rear suspension height, which would give us a, a little bit steeper head angle in it. Um, and I'd probably go for a little bit more seat. The seat's actually a little bit um, firm on my bony little butt. But one of the sexiest motorbikes you're ever going to see, and I can understand why it's probably the best seller, because just look at it, it's absolutely glorious. After Paul, there were some thoughts from the HDTV crew. A bit harder to turn for me compared to what I'm used to. I'm used to riding the soft tails. The handlebars here are a bit sort of like a bit too forward, a bit sporty for, you know, for what I like. But um, you know, as far as power goes, it's a killer. It's, it's definitely got more power than what I'm, what I'm used to. First break out I've ever ridden, actually. I actually like them, they're a good bike. Uh, it's raked out probably just far enough for me. I'm not a tall bloke, but uh, really, really good bike. 
Heaps of power again, heaps of torque. That, that engine is a really torquey engine. Uh, suspension really, really hard on it. So if you like getting the foot in the bum every now and then, it's perfect for you. But I'm sure you could probably tweak that and change that around a bit. If you ride them hard, they want to tip in, uh, which, is, which is good. I think that's what it's made to do, this bike. Um, but uh, no, I really liked it. Some great opinions on the breakout. Next bike up is a Harley Davidson Icon. Well, here it is, the fat boy. Fat being the operative word. Fat from front to back. Fat engine, fat wheels, fat bike. Sexiest colour on the planet, this metal flake white. Really gorgeous to look at. And I must say, this bike's actually full of surprises for me. Quite a nice feel, actually. Very fat boy, steep in the head angle. A lot of tyre for front grip. You can feel the wheels are a bit heavy, though. Quite frankly, I'd prefer a, an open spoke rather than a fat boy wheel, but quite a nice feel. And I'll tell you what, this new soft tail rear end with the fat tyre feels pretty controllable too. Not as easy to fold over, but it's still a lot easier than the, uh, than the old style rear end in the wide tyre. The head angle on it and the new rear soft tail rear suspension really works well for this much massive motorbike. Very, very comfortable in the rear end without a lot of travel in it. Probably my only complaints on the bike is the mass of the wheels. In previous form, unless I've had a hole in a wheel, it's knocked around my, my front end. Very much the fat boy look though, so love it or leave it. And I'm sure the accessories catalogue would fix that area there for you like a little beauty. The bike itself though, really works well. It's seating position, the, it's handling, it's a little bit heavier on the drop and the lift up than the narrower tyre models but it's certainly not anything unpredictable in it. It's very very uniform in its drop and its lift all the way. You could ride this bike very quickly and look damn cool while you're doing it. Can't say enough about the 107 in this. You'd think in this much mass of a motorbike you probably could go for the 114 or even spend a few more bucks and get 117 inches in it. Certainly wouldn't hurt it but it's not a kit in the way it is. There's plenty of mumbo at home there to launch you off into the abyss. There'd be a lot of people who just appreciate this exactly as it is out of the box because it's a very usable, very well-performing motorbike. Paul, very happy with this Harley Icon. Now for the rest of the team. Well, this fat boy, this is a, this is a beauty. I really like this one. Uh, the handlebars for me suit me a bit better than the breakout. This has got the fatter wheel, but for some reason, I don't know, It's I think the, the handling with, with these bars just seem to make it a bit easier. I find this a bit smoother as well than the, um, than the breakout. I prefer the boards to the, uh, to the pegs myself. The bigger engine just makes such a huge difference. It's just, it's an amazing, amazing ride. Probably my next bike. Did I say that? Yeah. Uh, it's still a fat boy to me. It's not really my thing, but everyone's different. Um, it's very, very big in the front end, very heavy in the front end. I love the front wheel, I love the look of the front wheel, but it's a bit floaty, a bit floaty for me. But heaps of torque, love the engine, the engine's great. 107's really good. Well, some varying opinions, and we'll be back after the break with a few more. Today, we're test riding some of the brand new Harley Davidson soft tails. We've had the breakout, and the fat boy. And now it's time for something different. Here it is, street bike. On every young fella's want list, and probably a few girls too. Um, no disappointment here. I really thought going from the, the iconic diner street bob to the soft tail was going to actually put my lights out, but really this is actually a refreshing ride. The lightest one of the batch. And let me tell you, it's a little racer. At only 107 cube, this one. But no bullshit. It feels like it's um, it's about twice the engine in the others because the bike's so light. So you young little uh, racers who all uh, follow the street bob, I know you young blokes, um, this, is, this is for you. It's going to hot up like a little champ. It's handling better than the old diner did. The feel through the rear end is sensational massive front forks in it and a pretty tidy little head angle that means it's a very agile little bike. I'd probably put another two inches of seat pad in it um, and and I'd, I'd do something about the um, forward controls only because they're a bit locking on my old hips. Um, no complaints about the riding position though. As it is you can ride it like you stole it and if you get one you probably will. 
Looks like it's got a lot more rake than it feels like it's got. The little 19 inch front wheel too, with the spokes nice and light. You can feel the road very well through it. Being the mass isn't much so, the rise and fall of the front wheel happens very easily. You feel the bitumen surface, you feel the potholes, you can feel what the corner's doing to the front tyre. This is a great little toy. The handlebars as ugly as they look, probably they look good in some worlds, but feel really nice. They're a great bend, really good tip angle on them. I said the Heritage and Fat Boy, um, in my world, need another brake on another disc on the front of them. So I'm, I'm actually fairly uh, savage on the front brakes at times. Uh, mind you, a Harley tends to respond very nicely to back brake riding because the bike's a lot lighter. The single disc on the front seems to be ample to stop it. Once you've got some cubes and some uh, cams in this baby, it would seriously dance. It just feels like you're riding from Melbourne to Sydney on the back wheel. It's a little beauty! I love it! I'm carrying on about this different setup on the new platform, soft hull and whatever. Old soft tails had the swing arm, of course the swing arm pivot, and two shockers pulling underneath, which were adjustable and everything, and it wasn't a bad setup. Um, lasted them 30 or 40 years. Um, but uh, this is the new thing. So rather than have the shocker underneath it, we've got a, a nice low, fairly neutral swing arm pivot, rather than being dictated to where it can be because of the lower shockers. And then our shocker's driving in off the top of the swing arm loop, straight in here, and up into the main beam of the frame, being the backbone of the frame. This actually means any energy compressing on the rear wheel goes forward in the motorcycle and drives into your steering head bearing. So it actually, any impact on the rear wheel is pushing the motorbike along rather than making it leap and lift into the air. So the general feeling in one is an awesome amount of competence, um, a very neutral feel and quite stable over ridiculous things like speed humps and potholes and all the things we deal with all over Australia due to our perfect infrastructure. Believe me, 107 in this feels like um, a good 114 in the other ones and it's really short and nothing. As far as the styling goes, um, the blackout's been beautifully done, not overdone with chrome. Um, the wrinkle finish through the handlebars and one of my favourite bends, the, the street bob, very tastefully done. And I think probably um, it, it wants for almost nothing. Sounds like it's Paul's new toy. What about Michael? Didn't mind this one. The only thing is the pegs are really in the wrong spot for me. I mean, I need, I need much longer stretch there. Great for round town. I love the, the, the handlebars, it's great. To get in, in, in and out of traffic would be awesome. It feels a bit smaller to me, this bike, but it's got so much power. It's just really, really good. I love the look, and I could easily ride this one all day in, this, in the city. It's a really fun bike to ride. I like the position of it. If anything, I wouldn't mind some forward controls on it, which I'm sure Harley make. It's heaps of power, heaps of front. You make a really good hot rod, this bike. Thumbs up for this bike. Love it. Street Bob. It's been a successful day of test riding, the new range offering something for everyone. But unfortunately for the boys, these bikes were only on loan from Northside Harley, making the ride home a reluctant one. After the break, we're off to the final instalment of McCully Customs and Dundo's Bike Build. So far in the Dundo Bike Build, McCully Customs had transformed Dundo's 2006 Dyna Lowrider from this to this. It's been a long haul, but Matt and Danny have achieved everything they'd set out to do. But with the delivery day on the doorstep, one thing they hadn't planned for was this. It's now four in the morning, and this is not the sound the boys wanted to hear. Dead, Tried firing the bike up, there's no spark. I'm thinking, what is going on? You want some battery? Go and grab the jumper. No, no, just no. give enough to keep from it. No, We went over schedule, we were there longer than midnight, and typical, the one thing that is over, the battery's flat. That's the sound the boys wanted to hear. 
it's been a long haul. But to hear that engine bubbling is a huge relief for the McCulley brothers. Me and Matt, we both took it for a squirt. Everything was great with it. Uh, we knew in a couple of hours those roller doors would be coming open and that bike would be riding out. Having designed and built so many bikes, the first run is always an exciting but nervous ride. Good. Yeah. Air ride feels great. Suspension, even the front, you know, just perfect. It's got that nice pitbull sort of stance, aggressive feel. No, he's going to be he's going to wrapped with this for sure. So it, it was a hairy experience, you know. The, the time just got away from us and lucky I had that extra eight hours up and sleep, that's all I can say. <laughs> anyway, 8.30 the next morning, you hear the bikes pulling in. I got a lift to the factory on the Sunday morning with a mate of mine who's got this hot rod and, and he, get, he got it custom made and uh, had a lot to do with it. And I always looked at that car and I thought, that is a one-off car, there's not many, you'll never see that car anywhere. And that's kind of what I wanted with this bike. And I started the project with a 2006 Dyna Lowrider and I couldn't wait that morning to see what my bike was going to look like. All right, now's the time we're, we're rare and we're going to show this thing off. So I get on, start it up, roll the door goes up, roll it out. I saw Steve's face, smile ear to ear, his mates were giving him a thumbs up and it was happy people. When that roller door went up, couldn't believe it. I was looking at it thinking, and most of the guys couldn't believe it either. I had a few of the boys there for a ride and they just basically, there was stunned silence, a lot of them looking at going, Jesus, is that the same bike? While overseas, Dundo had tried and tested a lot of bikes, but to hop on his own lowrider for the first time was something special. I'm sure Matt and Danny were pretty proud of what they did. I was absolutely wrapped. It was a great moment when I saw that diner come out of that shed. Thanks, Matty. You're welcome, mate. I didn't really want Steve taking this bike for a squirt then and there because he didn't have his, his rojo plate or his rojo sticker with him. Uh, he said, f it, I want to take it for a ride, so all right, we'll go for a squirt. We get probably one, one and a half k's down the road. Mr Johnny Hopper. <laughs> this was not what the boys had planned for the morning ride and may not go well for Dundo as the police have a blitz on motorcycle riders. 38 times more chance of um, coming off. Yeah, if everyone wants to get out their licences, they'll run I had the number plate in my back pocket and I had the rego label in my back pocket. I'm sitting there thinking, oh, I'm here, I'm gone. So as, as the police officer was going through everybody's licences and details, I've got Steve's number plate on the side trying to jam this thing in between the tyre and the rear guard. <laughs> he knew it well I was trying, but he was a cool cop. Here's mine. Well, it was sitting on the problem the, is when I try to, when I try to, when I try to, try to break, <laughs> keep skidding. No, there it is. Yeah, yeah, no, it would. <laughs> anyway, he was a good cop, good cop, bad cop. He was a good cop. That's it. Five minutes. Up Not the road. even. <laughs> Dundo's got off lucky. A breath test, and we're all good. After the cop had finished with us. We headed off up the hill and finally we got to give it some sticks so, and it went unbelievable. It ran fantastic, handled great and uh, I was so stoked. When I first seen the picture, I said to Danny, you're crazy, there's no way. Um, but Danny and Matt, true to form, they, they did, they turned, it, they turned it out, they got the, the picture in their head onto paper and into real life. After the break, this bike gets the star treatment. Dundo's brand new McCulley Custom started out as a 2006 Dyna Lowrider. The McCulley's stripped it back to engine and frame and have since custom designed and built nearly every part on this bike. Rear guard, 
swing arm, tank, spoiler, bars, seat, air filter and all the extras. Everything has the touch of McCully Customs. At, at the end of it, I was absolutely wrapped with the bike. Uh, for me, putting it outside those roller doors with the customer and his mates and a big grin on the customer's face, that's what does it for me. You know, I think, well, we've created something here that's individual for this person and um, they're wrapped, I'm wrapped. that bike and goes, what is it? I know that it's my old 2006 Lowrider. That's the same bike. Well, actually not the same. It's a McCulley custom. Mm -hmm.